Welcome to the Notary Ninja Show, the Notary Ninja Podcast. It is Mark Sias, the Notary Ninja. Today we have got a scammer alert. Today's episode I am titling Blue Notary Screws Notaries. <laughs> the great thing about this, so obviously this show, side hustles leveling up, avoiding scams and so much more is that you have the benefit of learning from my mistakes and my experiences so you don't have to experience any uh, losses or debacles in your business, hopefully. Um, so now, as you, if you've read the book, A Digital Pen, I did, um, I did say that uh, notary, uh, these notary platforms for remote online notary, there's just kind of flavors of the week. And probably one of the more recent videos I did, I said, listen, really in this game, none of them are really your best friend. They kind of have their own interest and you have to structure uh, uh, deals and business that looks out for your interest because invariably these are all going to let you down, um, uh, which is what happened uh, in this case. So, but stick with me because there is a good lesson to learn here. There is a lesson uh, in how you can level up yourself. Uh, using a concept called uh, lifetime lifetime value customer or lifetime customer value, or how you can apply that to your business and how uh, companies like Blue Notary that'll probably just uh, come and go with the wind um, don't operate from that philosophy and why that is so flawed. I'm going to give you the breakdown on that, which will be useful for your business. But first, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh boy, Blue Notary. Blue Notary screws notaries. Um, so in this remote online notary space, these platforms, these um, you know, SaaS companies, I call them, uh, they're basically out for themselves and they're basically out to um, nickel and dime you as the notary and then nickel and dime the end customer, uh, leaving both of you, unfortunately, with uh, uh, empty wallets while they continue to do well. And you have to structure deals and you have to kind of shop around um, for these platforms if you're just if you're going to be in this space, because unfortunately, they don't have your best interest in mind. Uh, and I've kind of known that and I've kind of operated that way um, with my business, but uh, recently had a uh, really unfortunate um, encounter with uh, uh, Blue Notary. So let me tell you what happened. So Blue Notary offers, um, and I'm going to be doing a review on PandaDoc. I, that's where I'm migrating to now. Uh, so we're going to do a breakdown on them. And it may be a better deal. It may be the new flavor of the week. Okay, I'm not going to put them on a pedestal. Um, they just may be the new flavor. Uh, so Blue Notary, uh, here's what here's what happened with them recently. Um, we uh, I, I went on to the platform to do my monthly renewal. Um, and to be clear on this, I don't renew it every month on the month. And the reason is because I like to stack deals. So I may not have deals for a week or so and that membership may expire. So you can stretch your timeline and of course, maximize your profitability as a notary by doing that. So that makes the most sense to do that. Um, so what happened is I it inadvertently hit the annual membership. Um, which is $300. Now, as soon as I realized that happened, I had messaged their, messaged their team, as you'll see in, in this uh, blog I just wrote on Medium. You'll see the screenshots of the whole transaction. Uh, and uh, I am here unashamedly, uneba unashamedly bashing Blue Notary for the turds that they are. I'm going to be perfectly clear on that. I'm going to back all that up with evidence that is laid out in this blog. Uh, because I'm not the only one that they've done this to, but I am also, I am ashamed, however, that I did recommend them in the book because they have a very low company standard. They have a very weak core company philosophy, and that does need to be called out. Um, and I'll explain why, and I'll explain what we can learn from that. But, <clears throat> I, so anyways, back to that story. I inadvertently subscribed to the whole year, okay? Now, I did not need to do that. That does not necessarily have my best financial goals or interests in mind to do that. 
I immediately messaged them and asked them if they could if they could refund that and they could switch me back to the month because that was what the intention was. Uh, the the following ensuing dialogue is them telling me basically to go screw myself and that they aren't going to do that. But we want to break down why they think that way and why they operate that way, which just solidifies my point that they have their own best interests in mind and they're actually a very short sighted company, as are all the other ones and as you need to be aware of now. Again, fortunately, I'm in a position where, hey, 300 bucks, it's, that sucks, but whatever, no big deal. Um, I'll get over it. I won't bring them any more business, though, because uh, that philosophy cannot be allowed to thrive. So, and we're going to talk about that. But, so I will walk away from Blue Notary, but not before um, uh, letting everybody know how they roll. Um, so Anyway, so Blue Notary uh, said, "Nope, we don't issue refunds under that. Sorry about your, sorry about your luck. Sorry that you accidentally clicked the wrong thing." Uh, now, this is very strange to me because I have a membership site myself, actually with the same bill processor as them. I actually use Stripe as well. So if somebody was getting on like our directory site and they're like, hey, I paid for the whole year up front. I didn't mean to do that. I would just one click refund them and go, hey, no problem. Just get back on the month. It's no big deal. I understand. Right? We're, uh, people are on a budget. <clears throat> Blue Notary, however, does not operate that way. Why they don't operate that way, uh, I don't really know other than you're just a crappy company. Um, but imagine just for a minute if you were, because I have, I have friends, I have notaries that I network that are in these shoes. Imagine if you were a single mother who's trying to make extra money uh, in the remote online notary space and this company um, takes your $300 and then, and it was completely erroneous, you know, it was a mistake. And you go, hey, listen, I, I can't afford, I can't afford that. And they just kind of flip you the bird, right? And tell you, we don't care, you know, sorry, we don't care. We, your $300 right now is more valuable to us than your lifetime transactions. And that's a lesson that we're gonna talk about today. It's actually something I teach in one of our courses on lifetime customer value. I actually do a case study of a customer of mine who's actually, that case study is actually getting bigger as we speak because next week I'm actually going as a power of attorney of his, I'm actually going to close a real estate deal for him and be able to charge him as his representative in that transaction, um, which further adds to the lifetime value of that customer. Never mind all the all the good uh, all the referrals I've gotten from him and all the previous transactions. But so I want to talk about that. But real quick, let's just uh, let's examine the culprits. Let's dive into the story a little bit more. So. Blue Notary screws notaries. Here is the Blue Notary debacle. And so this is the blog I wrote on Medium. And uh, if you don't know, I have obviously Noble Legal Pros, a blog on there. My main site, Noble Notary, a blog on there, a blog on Medium, and a blog on Notary Prosperity Academy as well. So I've got blogs everywhere. Pretty much figured out how to write a blog so that people actually read it. Um, and this is one of them. And what we've what I've done is after this little screw job is I did a little um, obviously filed a complaint with uh, the Better Business Bureau. Uh, not to my surprise, not the only one that's done that. And then, of course, went over to Trustpilot. And I guess not to my surprise at this point, not the only one that's done that. Here we have a review on Trustpilot of Blue Notary from DE. Don't know who DE is, but. He says, I would really give them zero stars. And so DE is a notary and an attorney who has had a horrible experience with Blue Notary. Um, and then we've got CB here, CBVA. Again, don't know who they are, but do not get a subscription. Uh, if something goes wrong with the website, they won't give you any of it back at all. He is right. They won't. They will tell you to screw off. Um, so I kind of go into what had happened with me and how... This is, um, you know, this story, how this is a real simple process to refund and how the core philosophy of them is backwards. So in this screenshot here is my attempt to communicate with them. And if you don't know, Blue Notary doesn't have any real customer support. They just message back and forth through their site. And it's um, probably a robot um, or it's a person who has very poor conversational skills. Uh, but there's no way to actually speak to anybody on the phone. Nevertheless, I voiced my complaint with them, and then this went to their alleged compliance team, which is Ty. Ty is not actually the compliance team. Ty, I believe, is actually one of the owners. 
but uh, whatever. He wants to call himself the compliance team today. Uh, it says, hi, under these circumstances, the claims team cannot offer a refund for yearly subscriptions. Well, geez, that begs the question, what circumstances do you offer refunds under? And the answer is more than likely none. They want your money, and that is it, because they are out for themselves. So, And as I lay in this, what would happen if this was somebody who um, really couldn't foot that bill? Um, you know, who, who would have really had a hard time with that? You literally would have put them in a big pickle. Um, so there is the uh, story on Blue Notary. Uh, be very, very careful if you are on their website. Now, one of the things that I don't like about Blue Notary or a lot of them, and let me just say all these platforms suck. I've been on all of them, whether it was um, Doc Verify, whatever. They all have such horrendous nickel and diming fees. I just had discovered that Blue Notary seemed to be the least of that up until this very moment. Um, but they do, as you are in the platform, if you were wanting to do your own billing, so you can get on there for free, but if you want to do your own billing of customers, which people like me do because I stack deals, um, you have to subscribe to a membership. Now, that doesn't get you off the hook. There are still these nickel and dime up charges for every signature, every notarization, and which is exactly why I have to bill my customers outside of that um, because I, I'm going to get I'm going to get nickel and dime from them. Now, as I'm looking at PandaDoc right now, it appears that they have a flat thirty five dollar fee no matter what. We'll see if that's really true or not. I'm curious um, because that may be the new flavor of the week that we migrate to. But for the time being, Blue Notary screws notaries. So let's talk about this philosophy, this mindset that is horrible. Uh, their mindset is that the $300 that you can take from the notary in the short term is more valuable to them than the lifetime value of that notary coming back month after month, year after year, and bringing their clients and paying your upcharges. So clearly they would stand to make thousands, and never mind this whole thing that's probably going to send notaries running away scared, um, and customers for that matter, I hope, because they suck. Um, but imagine that you're running a business. So I run my notary business and I treat all of my customers, I, I give them a, a superior concierge service. And uh, because I want a lifetime customer that comes back over and over, and that is my book of business, right? And that is how we can make more money year after year offering these kinds of things. And most businesses that are not planning on being fly by night understand the lifetime value customer concept that hey if i've got to do something to appease you in the short term it's worth it because i stand to make thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars with you over the course of business so but blue notary apparently in their small minds do not cannot wrap their mind around this concept and ironically it's not just trust pilot and the better business bureau where they're littered with complaints and bad reviews it's on their facebook page as well and now it's on youtube <laughs> congratulations blue notary for screwing notaries so that is it that is the lesson stay tuned i'm gonna be doing a review of panda doc i will be trialing them out obviously i'm gonna migrate my customer base to there and even though I'm paid for a year in advance with Blue Notary, um, I will not ever go back to that platform ever again because they need to own their mistake and they need to reap the consequences of that mistake, which is an incredibly poor company philosophy. And uh, they are takers. And let me take, to take this away that you should prosper in the service of other people. You should never, ever, ever have the mindset to prosper at the expense of other people, okay? That is a very short-sighted way to run business. Most businesses that operate that way go out of business, uh, where businesses that prosper and seek to, to, we'll say, get rich, I guess, in the service of other people build lasting things. They build legacies. They build value. Uh, and they build a loyal base, which Blue Notary has not got that. Um, okay. That probably Notary Ninja's back. So we have got a blue notary update. So if you remember, I did the video, blue notary screws notaries. And uh, well, blue notary, uh, long story short, they got a charge back, uh, which means that the 
my bank reversed their charges because they, uh, via Visa, deemed their transaction unauthorized, aka fraudulent. And the reason for that, and I want to give you the, the the ongoing drama that that Blue Notary is perpetuating in in uh, in this whole thing, which just shows their real character. Um, so you see right here, I'm on their site, Blue Notary. And independent notary, and if you're going to sign up, which it defaults to yearly, don't know if it ever used to do that, but uh, we'll just give them the benefit of the doubt on that. Uh, it clearly says here, though, cancel any time. Now, nowhere on their site can I find terms or conditions uh, to, that would clearly define what that is. So there are consumer protection agencies that protect people from uh, services like this that say cancel at any time. But what they mean is... You can't cancel at any time because they will just DM you and tell you you're not getting your money back. So, hey, we, uh, you know, we took care of that with uh, chargeback. Uh, but when that happened, I had went over to Trustpilot. And, of course, I was a little bit uh, scathing in this review because, well, I was pissed. I, I felt like this just showed a complete lack of character on their behalf. And so... Uh, I frosted them. Now, uh, you know, cooler heads have prevailed, but I did leave them this review. Now, it's important to note that Blue Notary disputed this review, so they did not want the public to see this. And so Trustpilot does their own investigation and determined, well, no, actually, it's a valid claim. And only then and after then did uh, Mr. Andy Blue the CEO and founder, decide to write this letter. Well, geez, that's funny, Andy. I've never got a phone call from anybody, an email from anybody, or anything from anybody. So your investigation on Trustpilot is all fluff. It's all malarkey. It's all nonsense. It's all gibberish. Uh, you waited until Trustpilot would uh, honor your dispute, which they didn't, before you decided to do anything, which was just blow this smoke here because nobody from Blue Notary has reached out to me in any way. Well, actually, I think somebody from Blue Notary reached out to me. This is actually very peculiar. You see, uh, I have the site Noble Notary and Legal Document Preparers, uh, which we are now expanding into Noble Notary Signing Service. If you didn't know, we are going to be nationwide. And I'm going to show you real quick the landing page for that. Uh, just... Uh, Grins, but then I want to show you where somebody had reached out to me. Don't know who, but uh, there could be a preponderance of evidence. So anyway, we're going to be expanding our um, notary services nationwide. We are going to add a database of mobile notaries, and this is one of the landing pages how we will basically be able to advertise such services. But anyway, on this site, I have a blog, and uh, the blog that I wrote a while back again, after cooler heads prevailed, and I just wanted to put the facts down, uh, I wrote this little blog, uh, Blue Notary Review, The Sad Truth. And it's pretty straightforward. Hey, I wrote the book Digital Pen, and I had endorsed them, but like so many others, they have shown their true colors. They didn't, fa they didn't stand the test of time. Uh, so I basically go into what happened that, uh, you know, I had... Uh, this monthly renewal was charged on the annual. They basically told me in so many words to piss off, uh, even though their site, as we have seen, says you can cancel any time. Uh, and then I kind of go over some of the other trust pilot reviews that uh, are on there and make mention of these other uh, BBB reviews they've got and kind of what some of the dialogue was between me and them. And that was it. Pretty straightforward. wasn't really bashing them. I was just saying that they uh, have a poor business philosophy. And so on this blog, of course, I'll get people that engage on here, uh, different blogs I write. Uh, usually it's either people who are legitimately engaging or it's just some kind of spam thing where they're trying to uh, get me SEO crap or something, except on this Blue Notary, and this is the first time this has ever happened on any blog I've wrote, I have got a comment They hit the spam filter from Ramrod, as you can see here, whose email is crybabyfkn at loser.com. We can imagine what FKN stands for, and the comment is small dick energy from a clear sociopath loser. <laughs> Weird that that's the only comment I've ever got of that sort on the blog 
from a person with a fake identity. And of course, the blog was targeted at Blue Notary. That is peculiar. Do I know that that was Blue Notary that did that or somebody at Blue Notary? No, I don't. Is there a preponderance of evidence? Yeah. I tell you what, Blue Notary, come on over to my YouTube channel where my YouTube videos are and show yourself in person. Comment on there. Let's hear your side of the argument. Comment in the thread who you really are, not a fake profile, not on my blog. Just come right out and let's do it. Or better yet, Andy Blue, why don't you call me on the phone? I just set up my nationwide 1-800 number in case you can't afford uh, to give me a long distance call. You can use my 800 line. Uh, and let's have a conversation about why your company sucks.